everyone, and welcome back for another episode of the Relentless Transitions podcast. If you are visiting us for the first time, I am Teresa from the United States, and I have my co-host, my global co-host, Ms. Rosalind Keith from Canada. We are so excited to be with you here today, and we have a great, great topic. How are you doing today, Rosalind? I'm doing really well, Teresa. You know, uh, working with you always lifts my spirits. So, uh, you know, another day with Teresa on the line and (laughs) and things are looking good. (laughs) Well, good. Come on, girl. (laughs) So guys, uh, on this podcast, we talk about life, we talk about business, and we talk about how to achieve triumph in both. So today what we're talking about is a little bit on the business side. We're talking about the top 10 characteristics of successful entrepreneurs. You know, anywhere that you look uh, today, they talk about how entrepreneurship is definitely on the rise. And I think that definitely since the pandemic hit, that has just put it into like fast drive. So what we're going to talk about today is the top 10 characteristics of successful entrepreneurs. And um, so we hope that these are going to be helpful to you. And once we're done, if you have some other tips and characteristics of successful entrepreneurs, we would love to hear from you. So Rosalind, we're just going to jump on in. okay? sure. All right. So the first um, top first characteristic and and these aren't any in any particular order. um, But the first characteristic I would say would be the entrepreneurs are people who take action. So there are a lot of people who they say there are people who at the end of the day that either they're going to say they're going to say what happened (laughs) or they're actually going to be a part of the happening. So entrepreneurs are people who jump out there and they take action. They work from a plan. However, they are certainly willing to just kind of do something on the fly. You know, if it's necessary, if a challenge comes up, they will certainly jump on in there and try to get things done. Yeah, we definitely did that with our our podcast, didn't we, Teresa? Yes. (laughs) Jumped in and did it. (laughs) So so, uh, number two, uh, again, not in any order of importance, um, is uh, entrepreneurs need to be crafty. And by this, we don't mean being sly in a nasty kind of way. And, and you know, maybe we do mean being crafty. If, if you're an entrepreneur who owns a craft business, that's another term for it. But what we're talking about here is being resourceful um, and able to work with what you have in front of you. Um, and um, instead of saying things can't be done, you're resourceful and you can figure out how to get things done, even if you don't have all the answers right up front. So yeah. being resourceful or crafty. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Also, entrepreneurs are obsessed about cash flow. Now, I don't know. Some people think that obsessed is a is a dirty word. So if that's a dirty word for you, then if not obsessed, they are definitely focused on the cash flow of the business. Because guess what? That's what makes it a business, right? You know, anyone who has launched any type of business, you're in business to be profitable. If it is not that you're trying to make money, it doesn't mean that you're not making impact. But maybe that's more on a, I call that your hard work. Or maybe it is, you know, a volunteer purpose. But entrepreneurs are focused on the cash flow of their business and of their company, especially um, if you have built the business to a point to where you have an employee or employees, then you want your business to have positive cash flow so that you can make sure that, um, you know, you can maintain your ability to meet your payroll and compensate the people who are helping you in your business. Definitely. Um, I love this one. Entrepreneurs get into hot water. Um, (laughs) And and, uh, by this, we mean, um, you know, entrepreneurs are not satisfied with the status quo. They think that they can provide that service, that, um, that product, 
um, in a different, better way. Um, and uh, they they kind of stir things up in the industry a little bit. Uh, so think of the Wright brothers with the airplane. Um, think of uh, Ford with the auto industry. Um, and right now the electric car, um, you know, what we're, what the, you know, the, the people that are stirring things up in the auto industry with the electric car, um, and, or Bill Gates with the computer, you know, um, I remember when uh, I'm old enough to remember the babies, the baby computers, those first computers that really all they were, um, was like a, a terminal. They weren't, they weren't what we have today. So um, without those kind of that kind of thinking, we wouldn't have a lot of the stuff we have in our lives today. And that's what entrepreneurs are good at is thinking outside of the box, not being satisfied with the status quo. Absolutely. And number five, that's like perfect for me, is that entrepreneurs are fearless. <laughs> I don't know if I'm fearless. I'm probably pretty shaky, but I mean will will definitely run at the brick wall. So uh, entrepreneurs are fearless. Um, they see potential and they're just willing to take a risk. Yeah. 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 That potential and just willing to try it. I, yeah. I say most times I'm willing to try most things once if it doesn't look just <laughs> like I'm going to die. <laughs> And, and, you know, it, it, that's one thing that really holds a lot of entrepreneurs back is that, is that fear and you just need to take one baby step at a time. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's a, that's a great one. Being able to take that one baby step at a time, mm -hmm. being able to manage your fears for sure. Um, entrepreneurs are also motivated by challenges. Um, so when they're, when your entrepreneurs are faced with challenges, they don't just close the lid on the box and say, uh-oh, I can't move forward. They rise to the, the challenge and the occasion and they work harder and they learn what they have to learn in order to get out of that situation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now I'm going to go back to being fearless. One thing that I would say, since you mentioned take baby steps, you know, take baby steps, but also entrepreneurs realize that they don't have to go it alone. You yeah. know, uh, that is, you know, they a solo preneur or a sole proprietor will often, uh, uh, you know, a sole proprietor, um, let's see, Robert Kiyosaki, I'll rely on him uh, or draw from him in this. He says that a sole proprietor will make money and they can be successful in business, but it is limited because they're only able to go so far because everything in the business is dependent upon themselves. You can go much further, you know, when you actually develop a team. So even in that infancy stage of your business, if there are fears there, understand you don't have to go alone. Kind of find a community or a person who is going the direction that you're going and maybe kind of partner up or lock arms or be in their environment, you know, kind of follow them, let them be, you know, in front of you and you follow behind them. But um, number seven is that entrepreneurs recover quickly. That is definitely a strength of a successful entrepreneur. So guys, listen, we all fail. So even when you looking at the person that's on the stage and the bright lights and everything looks wonderful and, and glitzy and calm and like there are no problems, trust me, we all experience problems. We all have failed at something. We've all had something that didn't turn out exactly the way that we expected. Even if it was successful, maybe it wasn't successful to the extent that we were looking for it to be. But entrepreneurs have that bounce back. You know, they have that ability. Now, it doesn't mean that they aren't wounded a little bit sometimes and might need to take a little bit of downtime, but they don't stay down. They, they recover quickly and come back sometimes even more fierce than where they were um, before. Very, very true. Um, entrepreneurs uh, get nervous. 
They do feel insecure from time to time, but you know what the difference is between an entrepreneur and a not entrepreneur, somebody who doesn't um, follow that dream of theirs is that um, they have the confidence in themselves and the awareness of their own capabilities so that they can push through that insecurity and they can move forward and not listen to that insecure little voice in the back of their head saying, what the heck are you doing? What do you know? Blah, blah, blah. Instead, they stay very grounded to what they do know. Mm -hmm. And they stay very confident in their own abilities, which creates a feeling of security to overcome those moments of insecurity. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, guys. We're down to number nine. So number nine is entrepreneurs or successful entrepreneurs fulfill needs. They actually take a look at the marketplace, the area that they want to enter or that they're most um, interested in or involved in, and they find the holes. They find those areas that are not being met and they fill them. They identify problems and they solve them. That is really the key to any successful entrepreneur is that they solve problems. Yeah. And I mean, they could be entering um, a, an industry uh, where there are other companies providing the same kind of things, but you're coming at it from a different um, perspective. Uh, one that you know, fills that hole that they, that you spotted generally in the industry. So, um, so uh, I think that's important to recognize that even if you're entering a marketplace with a lot of other players in it, as an entrepreneur, you've figured out a way to do it differently. Yeah. So, you yeah. know what, Rosalyn, like us. Yeah. With our yeah. podcast. <laughs> so we're global. We're, we're yeah. not both in the same, um, you know, country. We are different ethnicities. Um, two women, you know, in business, different age groups, uh, just different backgrounds, different experiences. But we're bringing, um, you know, we're talking about everyday issues, but we're just coming at it from a very unique perspective. Right. And, and yeah, we, I mean, we've never even actually met each other in person. No, so it's all been virtual. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know what brought us together, but whatever did, thank you. Um, <laughs> yes. so, uh, and tip number 10, but not necessarily the last or mm -hmm. least important tip is an entrepreneur um, doesn't go it alone. Um, they should surround themselves by people with more knowledge. And we don't mean this necessarily in person. Um, this is find some, a following, you know, if in person, sure, but also online, use the resources out there available, find people who inspire you and bring them into your circle of uh, influence um, and listen to their ideas. Um, you, you know, do some research, gather information, make informed decisions. And, you know, while you're doing that, you're going to find people that you know you want to keep following because they inspire you to be better at what you're hoping to do. Um, so um, you know, that's, you're not going it alone. You're listening to other voices out there. Uh, you're taking what you can learn from them. You're tweaking it to be your own with your own special sauce and making it your own, but you're not, um, you're not, uh, reinventing the wheel in every single case. And you know that these people inspire you to be better. So that's yeah. who you should be listening Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Because you know what? Some of my best mentors are online. I've never met them. Um, and I've met them, though, through YouTube videos or other podcasts that I've listened to or reading their books. 
Um, and I consider them to be mentors, people who have inspired me, people who have sometimes pushed me, who have done all of these things, even though I've never met them, um, you know, face to face. And that is one way, you know, for if you don't have that immediate community around you that yeah. is as, as ambitious as you are or that's trying to go this path that you're trying to go, you can t today with this digital era that we live in, you can find and listen to um, and get insight from um, people in so many different ways. So um, I find that very valuable. Also, you know, just not listening to your own voice, right? Yeah. Just your own voice. But when you are a leader, I consider myself a leader, but it, even though, and most times, of course, when I'm on stage or if I'm working with a client and I'm in more of this leadership position, I take a position that I'm pouring into them. But guess what, Rosalind? As much as I pour into other people, I need to be poured into as well. And so as a leader, sometimes it's hard for us to admit that we need, you know, that we need to be poured into. It's like, you know, that we aren't always on the top of the hill. So I think it's important for you to allow yourself to not just always be at the top of the hill, to take in stuff from others, uh, to allow yourself rest and to be able to be poured into and to be able to learn and grow um, from listening to others. Sometimes that can actually cut out some of your frustration of being at the top, right? Because you are, you are getting still some more insight from someone else who might be able to make what you're doing a little bit easier. Yeah. So that's number 10. So I'm going to recap and just tell you what they are in case you're taking notes. So the top 10 characteristics according to Rosalind and Teresa <laughs> of successful entrepreneurs is one that they take action two that they are crafty three that they're obsessed with cash flow four entrepreneurs get into hot water they're not afraid to take those risks uh, entrepreneurs are fearless that's number five number six they're motivated number seven recover quickly number eight, they're insecure. Number nine, they fulfill, fulfill needs. And number 10, they listen um, to others, surround themselves by people who have a little bit more knowledge than they do that can give them advice. So our takeaway for today is to be passionate, be dedicated, and optimistic. Believe, if you're an entrepreneur, believe that the time, energy, and money that you dedicate to your business will pay off in the end. Thank you guys so much for listening. This has just been such a fun episode. If you have some other characteristics of entrepreneurship that you live by and you consider to be totally uh, essential, please visit our YouTube page, like, subscribe, and leave a comment um, in the comment section. And also, if you would like to contact us, please send us an email to relentlesstransitions at gmail.com. Thank you so much. See you next time. Thanks for listening, everyone.